there is something called as type okay so when you will add a new hard drive when you will go to disk provisioning you see these three options over there what do you mean by these three options how do they impact the performance what do they actually mean when you should be picking which option we need to talk about it now okay this is the next topic that we need to talk about it i have one doubt actually regarding a file system see on the storage part when you are formatting it will format in the vms format right Mm -hmm. Okay, now, so the same disk will be presented to OS side. Again, it will format with us based on the operating system. Like in Windows, it will again go into format with NTFS. So, right. same how the concept will work actually. And so, we'll talk in the storage section. Okay. okay. Let's take an example that you have a vm and on the vm you have a hard drive or you are basically creating a new vm and you have to create a new hard drive the hard drive is basically of two types there is something called as a thin drive and there is something called as a thick drive okay now what is thick hard drive? Let me answer that question. So let's take an example. Over here, I've got a data store. And this data store that I have over here is basically 500 GB in size, and approximately. So let's take an example that you have a data store. Let's call it SAN01. And let's say this is of 500 GB in size. Now, you create a new VM. And on that VM, you give 100 GB RAM. Okay. Sorry, 100 GB hard drive. Now, like I mentioned, we are talking about thick hard drive. Okay. When you are creating a hard drive, you will say that I am creating a 100 GB thick hard drive okay you will create the hard drive the virtual machine will go through as expected a thick hard drive basically means you are giving the space to the virtual machine at once okay so i am deducting 100 gb instantly from the data store now i have 400 gb available on the data store because 100 GB was required by the virtual machine. And I gave that entire 100 GB of the provisioned space. So basis, this is basically called space allocation. Okay, I allocated 100 GB space to the virtual machine instantly. Now, whether that virtual machine out of 100 GB uses 10 GB, uses 20 GB, 30 GB, 40 GB, that's up to the virtual machine. I don't care that how much you use out of that 100 GB. That's not my problem. You wanted a 100 GB drive, I gave you 100 GB, and you got the space up front. Okay, so now my data store will show that 100 GB has been occupied, and I am basically left with 400 GB. Any questions still here? Okay, now, Let's change the scenario. So now what I'm saying is, I am now going to create a virtual machine. I will give 100 GB hard drive. And now this hard drive will be thin hard drive. Okay. A thin hard drive, when you create a 100 GB 
PM, how much you are deducting from the data store? Zero. You are deducting nothing from the data store. Why? Because a thin hard drive basically means that, for example, let's say that this VM utilized only 15 GB hard drive out of 100 GB. Okay. So 100 GB operating system is seeing. So for example, if you will go to Windows, if you will go to C drive, you will see over here that it has got 90 GB. Okay. Out of 90 GB, how much am I utilizing? Approximately 18 GB. Okay. So if I'm utilizing only 15 GB, how much I'm deducting from the data store? Only 18 GB. Only 15 GB, sorry, in this example, 15 GB. So I'm only deducting 15 GB. So I am left on my data store with 485 GB of space. Thin hard drive means that upfront, like on the thick hard drive, I give you the 100 GB space upfront, whether you use it or you don't use it, that's your problem, that's not my concern. You wanted 100 GB drive, I gave you the 100 GB space allocation upfront. That was in the thick drive. In thin drive, I will only give you the space how much you utilize. So for example, if I create a 100 GB hard drive, that's a thin hard drive. Initially, I am deducting nothing, okay? If you are using 15 GB, I am only deducting 15 GB from the data store. In my, and in my data store, I am left with 485 GB of free space. Doubts, confusion, question. Yeah, and uh, in, in both scenarios, can you uh, still extend the, the, yes. the hard drive size? Yes. Not you not fix like a tick uh, drive. You cannot you not fix limited to hundred gig and Absolutely done. You can not. still like I showed you earlier, if you would like to expand the C drive, the bootable drive, you can expand that. Thin or think will not or cannot stop you from extending the hard drive. I am only talking about how the space utilization will happen in the background on the data store if you create a thick drive yeah. or a thin drive. Excuse me. So which is better for the performance? I need 15 minutes to answer that question. Okay. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. For example, we have given thin 100 GB per one VM. Mm -hmm. uh, like this 5 VM, 100, 100, 500 GB data store. For example, I am saying, we can't give like that. 5 VM, 100, 100 we have given. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then every VM utilizing 30, 30 GB only, every mm -hmm. VM has left 70, 70 GB. Can mm -hmm. we create another VM? So you need to understand, when you look at the data store, okay. SAN01 data store has 500 GB of space. <laughs> okay. You utilized 60 GB. You are okay. left with 440 GB of space. Okay. You can do whatever you want with this space. Create a new VM, put ISOs, do whatever you want, your wish. Okay, I have utilized 440 also. Whenever the first VM needs to utilize something, then what will happen? The VM will crash because yeah, there is no will... free space. Yes. Then how the logic should be maintained as admin? Then you have got something called as alerting. You need to put alerts. This is what a VMware admin will do. This is your responsibility to manage your environment. How to okay. do that? How to make sure that you do not run out of space from okay. your data store? This is something okay. you will learn with time. I will not be talking about it right now, but okay. I will be talking about that, how you can keep a check and what you can do so that you do not run into this issue. Oh, okay. thank you. Any questions between a basic difference between thick and thin. So basically in thin hard drive, I am fooling the operating system in thinking that you have 100 GB space. In reality, if an operating system has used only 20 GB of hard drive, then that is the space I am deducting from my data store. In thick hard drive, if I gave 100 GB of space to the operating system, 
then I deduct immediately 100 GB of space from the data store. This is what a basic difference is between thin and thick. Doubts and confusions so far. Let's move on. Now, there are a few more things that I need to talk about it. This scenario that I explained you right now is basically about space allocation. Okay, this is about space allocation. In thin drive, the space is not allocated upfront. This will be given to you as you require. So for example, you have to use 20 GB. I gave you 20 GB. You need another 5 GB, I'll give you another 5 GB. You need another 10 GB, I'll give you another 10 GB. So in thin drive, space allocation will happen as per your requirement. In thick drive, space allocation happens up front. Whether you use it, you don't use it, it's up to you. I will give you entire 100 GB and I will deduct that space from the data store. This is the first thing you need to keep in mind, which is space allocation. Any questions on space allocation in thick or thin drive? Now, let me talk about the second point. So there are basically two points I need to talk about now the second point. So let's take an example. I have SAN01, my data store. This is a 500 GB and I, I created a VM. I gave the hard drive as 100 GB and I created it a thick hard drive. Okay. Now, what would happen is instantly I am removing, I'm deducting 100 GB. So I am left with 400 GB. And let's take an example. This is 100 GB space. Okay. Now, the space allocation is up front because this is a thick drive. Okay. This is the first thing. What is the second thing? Right now, if you have an application, for example, SQL, which is residing on this hard drive, and SQL wants to write any transaction on this hard drive, it will not be able to write, okay? SQL is a very blunt application. Why am I saying it as the blunt application? Because if SQL wants to write something on the hard drive and it is not able to write it, it will put in the logs that your storage is horrible. I was trying to write something on the storage. I could not write it. There was a lot of latency and because of which I am not able to work properly. SQL will basically start making a lot of you and cry in the logs. And it is there evident in the logs. The SQL admin will basically come up with the snippet of the logs and it will say, here you go, VMware admin, your storage is not able to perform properly. And my application is having a hard time. So SQL is a very blunt application. It will basically say it in the logs that you know your storage is horrible. Okay. So what would happen is, that in spite the fact you have 100 GB of space, which is given to the virtual machine, it is allocated upfront because it is a thick hard drive. And if you have an application like SQL, and if you try writing any transaction, or if you try writing any, you know, like a log or any IOP or anything that you try writing on the hard drive, this will not go through. Why this will not go through? Because in VMware, the first step is space allocation, okay? What is the second step? Second step is to make that space ready for you, okay? Now VMware has given you the space, but this space is not ready for the right operations. What do you mean by it is not ready for right operations? It basically means that when you create a PPT file, what is that PPT file for computer? It is zeros and ones. You create an Excel file. Is it really an Excel file? No, it is all zeros and ones. Give me a minute, please.
guys i'm sorry just give me 2 minutes i i need 2 minutes and i'll be back okay uh, sorry yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. just give me 2 minutes thank you no 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 problem
Sorry, everyone. Um, yeah. So I was saying that, you know, uh, space allocation is the first thing. The second thing is that getting the space ready. Now, what do you mean by space getting, uh, you know, getting the space ready? So I was, as I, I was explaining that, you know, when you create any file, for you, it's a PPT, for you, it's an Excel, but ultimately it's all zeros and ones, okay? So to space, to make the space ready, VMware basically fills out zero in their entire 100 GB space. This process is called zeroing out. And now, once this is done, now your SQL can write the transaction. This is what it will do. So the first thing is space allocation. And second thing is getting the space ready. Okay. So when both of these things are done, then only your application is allowed to make any right transaction. Okay. Now, how does it work out? So for example, when you have a VM, sorry, when you have a VM, it has 100 GB of thin hard drive. Okay. This is your storage. Okay. 500 GB. So let's say if your VM initially writes 20 GB, so what would happen? You would have to request for 20 GB space, and then you would have to fill out zeros in the 20 GB. And then your application can write something. Then your application decides to write another 5 GB of data. What do you need to do? You need to again request for 5 GB. Again, you need to fill out the zeros and then your application can write. Okay. So with thin drive, there is there are two penalties. The first penalty is you have to ask for the space because you're not given space upfront. So that's the first penalty. Because when you are requesting for the space, VMware will take millisecond, nanosecond, microsecond, subsecond, whatever the smallest unit of a second is, VMware will take some time. And during that time, the VM or the application has to wait. So that is a penalty, that is a hit. So this is the first hit that when you are requesting for space, you have to wait for some time. The second concern is that VMware has to make that space ready for you. And that will again take some time. So your application is basically waiting. And with thin drive, you get two penalties, which is space allocation and making that space ready. Doubts, confusion, question. Okay, now in thin drive, sorry, in thick drive, you basically have, okay, before that, we understand what a thick drive is. In thick drive, up front, you are given 100 GB of space. I mean, you get, you, you get the entire space, 150, 200, 400, whatever it is, okay. Thick drive has basically two options. There is something called as lazy zero. And there is something called as eager zero. Okay. It is a thick drive. So space allocation is happening upfront. You do not have to worry about getting the space because you got the entire 100 GB of space when the VM or the hard drive was getting created for you. Okay. So there is no hit on space allocation because you get the space at upfront. The hit that you will get depends on what kind of a thick drive you have. If you have a lazy zero, as the name says, it is lazy in zeroing out. That means you might have 100 GB of space, but that space is not ready for you, okay? If on that 100 GB, you want to write a 10 GB of data, then VMware will say, hang on, let me fill zeros in that 10 GB. Okay. And then only you, your SQL application is allowed to write. So 
in thick lazy zero there is one hit because space allocation has happened during the creation so that hit nullifies the only hit which remains is that you are not filling out the zeros you're not making that space ready and that is something that will only happen when the uh, write operation begins okay when you start writing something then only you know it will make the space ready for you and then only you can write it that is why in thick lazy zero there is one penalty in thick eager zero there is zero penalty why because it is eager in zeroing out what does that mean that means when you create a 100 gb hard drive it is a thick hard drive so space will be allocated at once okay and during the hard drive creation that entire 100 gb will be filled with zeros so your application when it has to make any write uh, transaction it does not has to wait it will instantly be able to write on the hard drive that is why thick eager zeroed has zero penalty so to summarize if you have a thin hard drive you have two penalties if you have thick lazy zeroed there is one penalty and if you have thick eager zeroed there is zero penalty doubts confusion question i have one doubt see when the disk is present to any vm suppose in windows we do a format right ntfs for that what that will do actually that is a so quick format for that you do that ntfs format that you do is a quick format okay you are not formatting block by block ntfs you know of that thing you basically format the first and the last cylinder i mean if you okay. go deep dive in the hard drive you will see understand you know there are the cylinders and there is an option called uh, quick and uh... so so quick is by default selected okay so you are basically doing a quick format over there if you want select quick from there uh -huh. okay then you are basically tracking vmware okay so what that means is let's say i created a thin hard drive hmm. 100 gb during formatting in the operating system you unselected quick hmm. and you basically said in operating system do a low level formatting hmm. that is do block by block formatting then it does not remain a thin hard drive because you are formatting thin level formatting in thin level formatting it is basically accessing and it is touching block by block entire 100 gb of data you get the point yeah yeah okay okay if you do a quick then yes generally it is quick so uh, you know that is what a thin hard drive will do okay. uh, i have one question uh, suppose we, we are using the thin uh, hard drive and then over there if disk size is being decreased suppose we have utilized 20 gb and then now it is showing as a 10 gb Mm -hmm. so what request or what will the impact on the actual like what will the process it will inform that 10 gb to the storage that 10 gb can be reduced or what good question i think it should be informed we'll do a test right now and we will validate okay let's do a test and validate what will happen okay Okay, time to do demo. Let's take an example. You've got this Windows Seven machine. Okay, let me remove the second hard drive from here. So I've got a Windows Seven machine. Okay, it has only one hard drive right now. So if you would go over here. PMT, disk M G M T dot M S C. Just give me a minute, please. I'll just be back in a minute.
So now what I will do is I I only have one hard drive over here, okay? So if you look at the data store, now oh, let's look at from here. If you look at the data store, go to the summary tab. 339 is free. Okay. Now you say that you want to create a hard drive, a new hard drive. You want the new hard drive size to be 100 GB. And you are creating a thin hard drive. Okay. Hit the OK button. You reconfigured the virtual machine VM02. It started at 848.09 seconds and it completed at 848.09 seconds. So basically within a second, it was able to create a 100 GB thin hard drive on the virtual machine. Why? Because it did not have to give the space. Neither it had to make the space ready for you. It was not formatting it. It was not filling out zeros. Okay. Now, I create another 100 GB hard drive over here on the VM. And this time, it will be a thick, lazy zero. Okay. I'll hit the OK button. Okay. The process started at 849.13 and it completed at 849.14. So basically, it took one second to create the hard drive. Now the hard drive that I created was thick, lazy zero. It is not filling out the zeros. Okay. Now comes the real thing. I created 100 GB hard drive and I choose the option thick, eager zero. What would happen in eager zero? I am filling out the zeros. During the creation, I am going to fill out the zeros. That is what I'm going to do. Okay. And I, I hit the OK button. Now you see over there the time it takes. Earlier, my hard drives were getting completed in a second. Now is it getting completed in a second? No. 22, 23. And then it will basically keep going on. Why? because it is filling out zeros. What I want to show you over here is the most time consuming process is filling out zeros. This is the most time consuming step. Space allocation happens within fraction of a second. Okay, that's not the real thing. It's the zeroing that takes a lot of time. Now, always remember, this is my lab. So here you might see a lot of time. But even though if you have a real ESXi HP box or a Dell box, and if you have a certified storage, then also you will see that thick, eager zero takes some time for the creation. Because thick, eager zero is the one which is filling out the zeros. And there it is taking time, and there it takes, you know, gradually it moves on. Doubt, confusion, question. Okay. So, so during the creation, which is a by default, take lazy zero. Okay. okay. So now the question comes. We understand this graph that thin drive has two penalties, thick lazy zero has one penalty, and thick eager zero has zero penalties. Okay, and where is the thing will be used? Now let's answer that question. Which hard drive type you should be using? Okay. I categorize servers basically in two categories. There's something called as a production server. And there's something called as a garbage server. 
Okay. Now I cannot tell you which server comes in production or which server comes in garbage. It is you who needs to decide that. I can only tell you how to decide which server is production, which one is garbage. So for example, in every organization, you know, there is a leave management system. So for example, if you want to go on holidays, if you want to apply for leaves, you have an internal portal where you go and you apply for leaves. Okay. If that portal opens up after two seconds, what difference does it make to you? Or what is the potential financial impact? Let's use a proper definition. What is the potential financial impact if your leave management systems open after opens up after two seconds? There is a network printer in your floor, on your on your floor, you know, wherever you sit. And when you give a print command, that print basically takes three seconds, you know, before it throws out the printer. What financial impact does it have to your job or to your organization? Okay. There is something called as an HR policy portal, wherein you can basically avail all the benefits of the companies and all that. If that portal opens up after four seconds, what difference does it make to you? Now reverse this. Let's say that you have a very important SQL server. And this is absolutely, truly production. And if there is a delay of one second also, then there is a concern. There's a huge concern. Forget about one second. If there is a delay of 100 milliseconds, then also there's a huge concern for you. There is a potential impact, a very big impact. This is your production. Okay. You need to decide what is important for the company. What is financially important? What is morally important? It is you as an admin in your organization, you will decide that is it really critical or not? Or is it only namesake, you know, that you are making up a hype that, you know, this print server is truly important for me. Okay. So it is you who needs to decide that. Anything which is truly production during the hard drive creation, make it thick, eager, zero. Okay. Anything which is truly garbage, make it thin. I am not in favor of using thin, lazy zero. I am not an advocate of using thazy, lazy, uh, thick, lazy zero. Question, why? Let me give you a real-time scenario. Let's take an example that your company spent a lot of money and they bought an HP server. I'm sorry, HP storage. Okay. Let's take an example. Hypothetically, you have one petabyte of space on that HP storage. Okay. Now, one petabyte is about 1000 terabyte. Okay. 1024 one terabyte, basically. Huge amount of storage. Okay. Now, what you will do on your ESXi boxes that you have in your organization and all the other uh, you know, application owners, like for example, you might have a physical Linux machine, you might have a physical Windows machine, though the percentage will be hardly one or 2% or maybe you know, four or 5% maximum because generally companies run you know, at least 95% virtualization or at least 96% virtualization. 80% virtualization, I used to hear this term that, you know, in our environment, the servers are 80% virtualized. I used to hear this term in 2015 or in 2016. This is what the companies used to target at that point of time, that, you know, every server in the organization, at least I need to achieve 80% virtualization target. We are in 2024. You know, we are already like half year through with 2024. Nowadays, gone are the days, you know, when you will be running, uh, you know, physical servers. But... Let's take a hypothetical scenario that you still have, you know, physical servers. Okay. So what would basically happen in this scenario is you are basically requesting storage. Okay. And what the team is doing is that, you know, they are carving out portions of 10 terabyte, 10 terabyte, and they are basically presenting it to your ESXi host. This is what they are doing. Okay you are creating virtual machines and you are basically giving thick hard drives. Okay, application owner comes up and he says, buddy, you are my friend. You remember we had a, you know, great last evening, we had drinks and, you know, we uh, had a good time and, uh, you know, you need to give me 200 GB extra. 
and you say, okay, you are my friend, I'll give you 200 GB extra, or you take 300 GB extra. Okay, you become over friendly with that uh, buddy of yours. Okay. Now the question is, you gave 300 GB or extra, let's say that you gave 800 GB to an application server, and that's a thick hard drive. How much is that guy using? Only 100 GB. What about the 700 GB? That, that 700 GB is allocated, it has been given, but you're not using it. So that's a wasted 700 GB space that you cannot give to anyone else. Okay. So if you multiply this scenario, that wherein you are keep you are only allocating thick hard drives to any server that comes up to you. And people are requesting, you know, always, always know about it that, you know, an application owner will come with a demand which they, which is more than the application requirement. So, for example, if the application needs 7 GB RAM, they will ask for 9 GB RAM. Okay, if the CPU is required, 4 vCPUs are required, they'll ask for 6. If the hard drive requirement is 400 GB, they'll ask for 600 GB. Always take that into consideration. An application owner will always oversubscribe, you know, whatever they need. Okay. So the question is, if you keep allocating thick hard drives, there will be a time that, you know, your storage will be out of free space because you are allocating so much of thick hard drive and not everything is getting utilized. This happened with, with us in our environment in 2015. And my client at that point of time, um, you know, he was a German and he basically told us, give us a report that whatever you have allocated to the virtual machines, how much is actually utilized, how much is total allocation and what is the free space? He wanted these three numbers. And when we pulled the report, we were surprised to see that, you know, how much free, how much free space, you know, these servers had. Okay. So keep in mind that when you are allocating space, it is your responsibility to at least take into consideration, do you really need a thick hard drive or not? Okay. Like I mentioned, always go with options. This is what my uh, thought process is. Go with either thin hard drive or with thick eager zero. Never go with thick lazy zero okay? because I don't see a value in that. Okay. All the garbage servers go over here. All the production servers go over here. How do you monitor that you don't run out the hard drive space? This is something that I'll tell you uh, as we go along in the course. Doubts, confusion, questions. Uh, yeah. Suppose we chose a thin provisioning and after that we decide to move it to the thick. So is that possible? Yes, I'll show that to you later. Not right now. Okay. Now, there was this question that, you know, we had that what if, if I, now let me show you away. See, you now you have 139 GB available. Why? You remember, you remember we had 339 GB available and I created two hard drives of 100 GB each thick. Okay. Though I did not put data, that does not matter. It will basically consume that space because that is upfront allocation. Thin hard drive means that you're not allocating upfront. Okay. Now let's take an example over here, a quick test, and then we'll wrap off our class. So let's take an example. I'll create a new hard drive. Okay, I'll create it 50 GB. Let's keep it simple. And I'll create a thin provision. Okay. I'll go to my VM. For oh, your yeah. thin provision? Because we, I want to try out that scenario that, you know, that question that was asked that uh, if you create a thin provision, you put the data, then you delete it, what's going to happen? So that's what I'm trying out right now. Come on. Okay. Let me go back.
let me cancel this step. This is ticking. I cannot cancel it now. Okay, that's fine. You see the time it takes. So this is basically a time consuming thing. Now there are ways to overcome it. I mean, if you have a real storage, this would happen at the storage end. Um, I'll talk about it in the storage section more on this. Um, let's do this test tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. I mean on next Saturday when we meet. We are, it is already 9-4. I don't want you guys to stretch. So let's meet on next Saturday and let's do this test and we'll validate, you know, what the results are. And then, you know, we'll start with the next topics, you know, that we have. Okay. Excuse. Huh? Uh, it is some most important, I think, these things. So can you recap next week? <laughs> Just Sorry, recap. I did. I did not get your point. I think it is a, some important. Huh? Next next week, please recap it before okay. before going to session. Okay. No, uh, buddy. Uh, no, buddy, you need to understand. These are big topics. Okay. Yes, yes, that's why uh, I am asking. I mean, because because we are we are we are we are disconnecting middle way. That's why. Just recap no, no. and continue. Mm -hmm. Fine. Go through the videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go through the videos so yeah, that yeah. you are also on the same page as me. I'll give a okay. very high level of overview what we yes, discussed, yes, and yes. then we'll continue on. Okay. Yes, I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. Uh, yeah, tell me what is the doubt that you have? Yeah. Uh, for example, um, one production important server. Someone has. Uh, for uh, his low level knowledge, he has given thin provision. Okay. I told you, you know, you can change it later. You can change from thin to thick. How to do that? I'll show it to you later. Yes, yes, yes. That is why. <laughs> okay, okay. Just recap. That's why I asked for me. No, so Thank I would you. not Thank be you. showing that to you next week. I'll show that to you later. Okay. So okay, when we reach okay, that okay. stage, okay, then okay, I will okay. show you on how to convert. Because if I show you right now, you will get confused. Okay, okay. So okay. I want to go okay. with the flow and then I would show thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is the matter. Hey, uh, Shankar, yeah. hey, Shankar, go for it. Uh, see, uh, I have one scenario. See, suppose in one EXA, there's one 100 uh, GB data storage attached, and in that, uh, three VMs are running. Okay. Suppose hmm. if I present two VMs, 20, uh, 100, 100 GB hmm. uh, with a thin provision. Hmm. And the third VM, I can give uh, again 100 GB, even though it is a 200, uh, 100 GB. Uh, so, Shankar, data store. when you uh. give thin hard drive, when you give 100 GB of space to a hard drive, or when you create a hard drive of 100 GB with a thin provisioning, hmm. what is the space getting deducted from the data store? Zero. So you can create as many thin hard drives as you want with okay. 100 Suppose GB. If the, if the GB. VMs have started accumulating uh, 50, 50 GB means, so the, in the current data store, there is no space at all. So what then will the happen? VMs will crash. Will all crash. the VMs on the data store will crash. So the, as a VM admin, we have to extend the data store. Or uh, how it will happen practically if I want to extend the data store? Is it possible? In, right. So in that case, if your data store is getting full, there are a uh -huh. couple of things that you can do. You can extend the data store. You can move VMs to another data store. Oh, okay. You can put a setting that wherein this uh, moving of VM from one data store to another data store, if the data store is getting full, can happen automatically. <laughs> that so is actually many practical things. scenarios, right? Sometimes uh, they're running out of the data store. Suppose even though it has one TB, if they're Absolutely. reaching some threshold, Again, then you can more... migrate the VM. No, you can VMs. migrate the VM from one storage to another, from SAN01 to SAN02 SAN data okay. store. Yeah. You can migrate that. That migration can even happen automatically. You can extend the data store from the background. You can add two raw hard drives together and make that one data store. There are too many things that you can do. I'll oh. talk about all those scenarios, but okay. not right now, only oh, okay. in the storage okay. section. Because there are so many things in my I don't know which other. Yeah, yeah. All your okay. possibilities, all those combinations that you're coming up. For now, I can tell you that whether yeah, yeah, this yeah. will happen or not. Okay. But. Uh, uh, actual explanation, actual demo, I will only do at that point of time. Fine, fine. Thanks. Thanks for the clarification. Anyone else? All right, guys. I'll see you on next Saturday, and then let's continue. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.